Lubaba TV. Welcome to our final at Lubaba TV and today is another good day and in our good session that we're here talking with different tourists and different visitors here in our country to know different things and why they're here in Tanzania. First, today I have the first raid in our session. So it's a breathing to have her. You are the first raid in this session. Always have um, boys and, and, and couples. So it's a breathing to be with you. you. And we'll be making some stories and to know different things. So don't forget to subscribe but also, also hit the bell and inform your fellow also to get different tension from our channel. First thing we would like you to introduce yourself for people to know where you are, how old are you and why you are in Tanzania. Hi, so I'm Sarah, I'm from Belgium, I'm 26 years old and uh, I've actually been traveling in East and South Africa for five months and Tanzania is my last country I'm traveling to for almost a month. Uh, so you have been traveling for five months so far? Yes, so I've started in South Africa, then I went to Zimbabwe, Zambia, until here. And what's what happen next? You want to travel more African countries or after Tanzania then you leave? So for now, uh, unfortunately I have to leave soon, so I'm leaving from Tanzania back home. Um, but I would definitely like to come back here and visit more countries in East Africa and also West Africa. Ah, you said you have been in Tanzania for almost a month now. I uh, hope you have gone different places. Can I know how many places have you visited so far? Uh, a lot. I don't know how many, but uh, I've started in Dar es Salaam, then I um, explored Zanzibar, different places there. Then I went to Lushoto, uh, Moshi, Arusha, and now here Mwanza. And then I'll go back to Arusha to take my plane there. Mm, and you have said you have traveled a lot of African countries. So far, what's your favorite African country? <laughs> uh, that's going to be a problem if I say something, because then they're all going to be jealous. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, each country were, were very different, um, and I like them for different reasons. I really like Zambia, but obviously I really like Tanzania as well. Uh, Tanzania is gorgeous, so many beautiful places, uh, people are very friendly and generous and peaceful, so I really like, oops, uh, I really like that about the, here. And so far, which is your favorite part in Tanzania? Because you have been in different places, you have been in Arusha, Mwanz and other places, so which place did you like? Ah, I really like this place most. Hmm. Um, well, the... I don't usually like places where it's very touristy. So when I was in Arusha and Moshi, the the places is nice, it's beautiful and people are friendly, but it's it's very touristic, so you see a lot of tourists and only tourist attractions. So for me that that's not something I like when I travel. Um and I I come from big cities, so I like to go more nature. So a place that I really like was Lushoto because you're in the mountains and there is farms and it's more quiet. And then obviously Zanzibar is beautiful, but also again, very touristy. I really like Stone Town because um, it's small and, um, and I don't know, people were really chill there. Um, and it was fun to even at evening time just walk around the streets and you have lots of activities, um, a lot of uh, nightlife even in the streets there. So that was fun. And can I know, do you travel alone all the places or sometimes you travel with people? Yes, yeah, so I organized this trip uh, traveling alone. So um, I've, I've done most of it completely alone, but then along the way I've met people. Uh, when I stay in hostels or backpackers, I meet other Europeans or other people and then sometimes I do a little bit of uh, the journey with them, but not more than like a few days. Um, and then I had some friends as well in Dar es Salaam or in Zimbabwe, so I stayed with them as well. I would like to know the pro and cons of being a solo traveler, especially when you're a girl. You know, there are a lot of challenges. You're beautiful, so people sometimes, you know, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of challenges. So, can I know the pro and cons? Yeah, I think you got it. Uh, I think being a girl, a white uh, Mozungu girl, it's complicated. Um, so, 
one of the challenges I guess is um, safety sometimes you don't always feel comfortable when when you walk in the street or especially at night time you you avoid to do that or you can always find bad people and good people you know like some some boys or men sometimes they're gonna be annoying like looking at you or telling you too much things or I had a lot of offers uh, for marriage <laughs> especially in Zimbabwe um, and then and then yeah one of one of the other challenges I think maybe being a Muslim girl, some people they treat you just for your money like you think they're being kind but then they just want money or they just they want something from you and so sometimes it was hard to know who was honest and who was your friend and who was just there for for something you know in return so yeah that was one of the challenges and what were the goodness of traveling as a solo traveler uh, for me it was an amazing experience um, because you get to really see the country and really see and understand and explore the culture like the food, the people, the way they do things. Um, even to get from one place to another place, I would use like public transport. Um, but that was also a personal choice. Not everyone travels like that. But um, for me, it's better because if you if you travel with friends or family, then you stay in your bubble and you don't expose yourself to to the world, basically to what's around you. So traveling alone is like you you get out there you get out of your comfort zone and you you have to talk to people to get around so yeah even meeting you now there it's it wouldn't have not happened if I was traveling with someone else maybe and so far you have been in Tanzania for almost a month have you ever tr tried uh, Tanzanian dish oh yeah <laughs> a lot a lot that's that's all I eat so yeah the ugali Kuku, uh, maharange, maharage, and the the vegetable boma, and then all the grills, mishtaki, the shapati, the all the fried thing, yeah, everything. And so far, what's so far? Ooh, another hard one. Um, hmm, I really like ma maharange, maharage, and uh, the vegetables are really good too. Uh, chapati. And um, what else? Ah, in Zanzibar there was like the Zanzibar pizza. It's good, and the shawarma. They're really good too. But yeah. Do you know to cook any any of them? Um, no. <laughs> I was staying in a friend's place in Arusha. I've done. Um, I've learned to do the chapati, and uh, I'll come. I'll go back to their place, and I hope to learn how to do maharange. I, I will teach you today. <laughs> and so far, do you know Swahili? Have you tried to learn Swahili? Maybe. Do you have interest in knowing Swahili? And Dio, naongea Kiswahili kidoko. But it's not really good. So I've tried to learn. I can say a few things, but yeah, it's been too short. But yeah, I would I would like to learn Kiswahili. It's really. Zuri, <laughs> Zuri Sana. You have the plan to learn, maybe to go in school or to just learn it and know how to speak it. And yeah, I think it's always interesting to learn and speak another language. And Kiswahili is really f easy and beautiful language. And who knows, maybe I, I come back here. So it's good to have Kiswahili. You have to come back and live here. <laughs> and so far, you know, in traveling, it's not that every time you get good thing, and it's not that every time you get bad things. So I would like to know. So far, what the challenges have you faced in your journey from Europe to here? And what are the best moments that, if you remember, ah, this moment was best, maybe in Tanzania or anywhere. What can, what can you say about that? The best moments for me are always when I meet people. So I had few, like, in each different, each country I visited, I had moments like that where, where it was just amazing because I, I met people and they were, they were very kind to me and very generous and we could exchange, we could talk, we could laugh, we could go party together, or we could, you know, eat together and and it's just that um, human connection, you know, you, 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 you understand that, you know, we're all the same, we're, we're all humans and we, you can find like f friendship wherever you go, Rafiki. <laughs> 
and um and it's 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 just amazing and like because there is a culture difference it's it was nice for me as well to to learn that like to to get to know another culture that I found really nice <laughs> really fun um and for the challenges um I guess it's what I was talking about before there were some people obviously who tried to take advantage and sometimes I felt really unsafe and so I I wanted to leave the place but um, in general, I had more good, good things than bad things, um, and then, and then also after a few times going going here, you you kind of understand how it works, and then you just try to avoid these situations. In South Africa, it was quite different. Uh, that was maybe my less good experience, just because the situation there is very very complicated. Um, so for me, South Africa was the less fun regarding that because there is just there's lots of tension between you know white and black and it's and lots of yeah racism like it's not good um but yeah <laughs> i thank you because it's good you have got a lot of uh, good moments than bad moments and by concluding uh do you have anything that you would like to to share uh, because we want to conclude and do you have anything that you would like to share to fellow travelers or to just say anything well first of all i want to say thank you to uh tanzanian people and um i think in general like they have been really really friendly they're good people uh big hearts um and you know fun like you you have a way to be happy just just with now and with today and with what you have and that's good and um so for my fellow travelers um i would just say maybe don't be scared and don't listen to what everyone says because before coming to this trip um a lot of people shared with me their concern and i think a lot of time there's a bit of stereotypes or or ideas of how Africa is or you know and people get scared but most of these people they don't know and they they themselves nef have never traveled here so um, just go and explore for yourself and the I think you can only be have good surprises and even if there is bad things happening it's part of life there's always going to be bad and, and good and you have to take this with with you like it's part of the traveling package um, but in general you have way more good things than bad things and it's also a perspective like how you want to travel how you want to see things and for me it has been an amazing experience so yeah my advice would be like don't be scared go for it and don't be scared to go talk to people go explore travel on your own get out of your comfort zone you said people they are they are scared to come in Africa. Do you think why people they are scared? Oh, what are the people when you say Africa? I'm going to Africa. What's get in mind to people? Can I know, please? Yeah, I'm I'm really sorry to share that because I don't agree with this these things, but it is a reality of people mindset sometimes in Europe. So first of all, they think that um, well, it's sort of based on some truth, but it then it gets exaggerated. So first of all, they think that. It's very unsafe here, like if you go there, everyone is gonna like steal you or as a girl harm you, you know, rape you or whatever. Like they, they just think that people are gonna, you know, they, they're scared of the safety. Then some people, they think they have a bad way of thinking that like uh, they know infra infrastructure is not good here, so but they think it's worse than what it is, you know, so. <laughs> Lord, so. Yeah, nothing. And like when I say if I take a train or a bus, they're like, oh, are you sure? Because, you know, buses don't work, blah, blah, blah. But it does. It's just African way, but it does, you know. And it's just, I guess, because in, in Europe, everything is very structured and everything like works tack, tack, tack like this. African, African way is more, we'll see, you know, you go there and you see. But, but that doesn't mean it doesn't work. But anyway, yeah, there is... Um, there's that thought and um, yeah, because my, my parents were scared when I said as a woman I would travel alone Africa and go by buses. They thought that was crazy and they thought that was never possible here, but actually it is. Ah, that's good. So if you go back, I think you will change some few people's minds. I know ah, Africa is because maybe you you go very healthy than you came. <laughs> so it will be good. Thank you for your time, sister, and for sure I really enjoyed to be with you and you are really, really welcome and thank you for your time thank you very much thank you for having me and uh, likewise i really uh, appreciate to be here with you appreciate to get to know you and uh, thank you for everything
thank you don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell but also inform your fellow so he or she should get a lot of good content like this i'm iman lubaba and i was with my friend here till next time bye <laughs>